Yeah, yeah, Shabala. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Tengu230. I hope you guys are having a great day. So, welcome back to Destiny the Taken King. This is the last part in the campaign, but there is a lot more once you complete the campaign. You know, especially like the raid, other quests, and other things to do. So, let's do it. This quest, this mission is called Regicide. Hope you guys enjoy. All this was set in motion long ago. He calls out, and the darkness answers. Okay. Creepy sidekick? Check. Roguish commander? Check. And then we have the Guardian. My greatest success story. I'd say we're ready to get this done. Push back the dark. End it. She's right, Guardian. There's no doubt in my mind this could possibly work. Now, get to that rupture. can't believe this is it. The last mission where I do post-commentary for. Except for actually some of the... St I, I still have the subtlest cell strike that I recorded. Uh, I still have to do commentary on that one actually because I... You know what? I actually like that strike. That strike was really cool. But I haven't played that on a heroic strike yet so I don't know how difficult that is. So here we go. We're on the beachhead. Phil. Paul. Me. Uh, I guess we're just like taking out some dudes trying to grab ammo and we're going to head through the hull breach right here into the mausoleum so nothing really happens here this is essentially like a loading zone if you will and you know adds atmosphere got some flickering lights everything Got all the rubbage, rummage, ruggage, ruggage, <laughs> wreckage. Man, my words not happening right now. So, heading to the mausoleum. Okay, that's where the rupture should be. Get it open. Once you're through, send your coordinates. We'll lock down your signal and deploy reinforcements. And we're going back to the rupture because we couldn't get in last time because it bounced us back. You know, it's so weird, I'm like watching myself play here, and it's like, why why am I not using the scout rifle? It's like, I know I have a bounty to do, but it's like, I feel like I'm not efficient here, and what the hell is going on? At the same time, I feel like I'm looking around for stuff. It's like, I don't know what was going on in my mind, <laughs> like, during this sequence of events. But there's a wizard that pops out, I'm like, you know what? Let me just hit it with a rocket launcher. Because it took it out in one hit, and I believe it was it was a void shield that was surrounding that wizard. So the rupture can sense the soul you hold. You are ascendant. So we're heading inside. Hey, guardian. Good luck. We're going to have to finish this on our own. My scans are returning nothing. We're definitely somewhere, but no sign of Oryx. This is unknown place right here. Uh, also, you know what? At the same time, we never really explored the Dreadnought, like, before this. Well, now so, we know we have his you know. Hi, Oryx. I still don't know what the fuck that is. We follow it, we go to danger. So we gotta kill the Taken. There's gonna be a shit ton of Taken here. You know, I also realize when I'm doing post commentary, I don't even think I cuss that much. I think it's like when you're spur of the moment when you're actually playing the game, it's like fuck shit, it's like whatever. And it's happening. You just you just react. It's like this one, it's like I'm like explaining things and it's like I'm not, you know, in the moment, so I'm like, oh fuck. There's a captain. There's an annoying captain with a stupid solar shield and freaking Paul died already. It's like, why did you die? What happened, man? I don't know. I think he got blinded and there's just a lot of fire. I had to take cover behind this coffin. Sarcophagus, I guess, if you will. I don't even know why I popped that. It's like all the enemies are taken care of. And then I guess, you know, captains are annoying. So it's like, I got to take him out. And my bar is running so low. Oh, my God. It's like the right headphone on mine just like squeaked. Sorry about that. So at least I took out two regular thralls 
you know? I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't a waste using that. Something that was outside made noise. What the hell was that? So, we take these guys out. These are the steps. This is actually the... The area, um... That is an awesome sounding... Door. It just sounds so ominous. It, it does remind me a little bit of Stargate. Speaking of Stargates, they are coming through. Also, was there a peg in this guy? I was like, oh, okay, we just shoot him. He's almost dead. I was like, alright, he's getting halfway. He's getting halfway. Shoot him with rockets. Excuse me, I almost have to burp. And then when he moves, which you'll see now, I was like, holy shit, there's a, another boss over there on that side. And it's that Bax guy with the double X's. I think it's Bax. And he was actually, uh, he was one of the bosses we faced in Koda's throne room. And then he was there where we stealthed it up in the previous mission. Also, since he's an ogre and he's a taken ogre, and I don't know what the fuck happened there. Okay, he hit me, and I think the actual impact of the wall killed me. Was that, is that even a thing in this game? It's like, I don't remember getting, like, damaged by, like, momentum, like, that hard. But <laughs> it happened. So that was awesome. So yeah, because this ogre is taken, this thing can like teleport short distances. You know, like the ring. Like the girl from the ring that comes out of the well, out of the TV. If you guys haven't watched it, you should totally watch it. Even if you don't like horror movies, just, just watch it. I mean, it's fine. You'll totally go to sleep. So taken thrall, he goes, he goes electrocutey. And I don't know if there's firing up top. And he's almost dead, actually, but he's enraged. Because he has red swirlies around him. And he's almost dead, actually, so that's uh, that's good. He seems like he had a beat on me, so I ran. As soon as he saw me, I was like, fuck it, I'm, I'm out of here. So we got more goblins. Uh, yeah, they're gone now. I didn't even see the guy die. Like, Paul and Phil took care of him. So well, I guess we're worthy now. You are worthy. Let's head inside. You know, as much as I like like I always find like uh hive structures like very organic, but then at the same time <laughs> Sorry, I should have made my phone vibrate. Apologies on that front. But at the same time, I wish, uh, or, or this this whole dreadnought reminds me of like a huge cathedral. So, also, I don't know what was going on, like at this part right here. It was just dark, and then it was like, hey, there's a light. So, let's follow it. And this is probably like the most badass sequence in the game. Because it leads up to the light, and then the light goes to the door. And it's like, holy shit, Altar of Oryx. This is where he must be. And there he is. He, he has the grasp of the king. I don't know what the debuff is, but now that I'm remembering things, I think he drains our light. So essentially we have no super bar. <laughs> so this is like an interesting room. Definitely an altar. You got fonts here. And this was, uh, this was where he tapped his cane and he was like, boom, and then he just made a hole in the rings of Saturn and pretty much destroyed Mara's army, which was damn that was that was nuts, man. So this fight goes on for a little while. Because Oryx has a ton of health. And we can't use our supers obviously, which sucks. But you know, I'm trying to get headshots in there. Paul and Phil, they're probably trying to get headshots too. I don't know. 
So it's pretty much rinse repeat here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, also if you notice, like, Oryx flies, he has wings, he has a sword, he summons enemies. And... I think I remember there's text here, but then he was, like, so far away I couldn't hear him say, At last I will have vengeance. <laughs> it's like he actually disappeared when he said it, and he was like, yeah, whatever. So I'm pretty much... <laughs> what I'm doing here is looking at the radar and trying to see where Oryx is or any kind of enemy and wherever I hear Paul and Phil firing I pretty much move my head on a swivel in that direction so yeah this is pretty much the fight right here the fight of the century so like I said I haven't even done the raid yet so I don't I don't know what Oryx is like in the raid I haven't watched the raid either I kind of wanted to keep it not, you know, like, not necessarily under wraps, but like a surprise, like, for me. Because, I mean, I think every one of my other friends who's, like, playing this, they've probably seen a video or two on it. Especially to try to figure it out. So, you know, I'll just probably just follow their lead. I still can't believe I was level 39 here. Or, like, 38, or... Yeah, 38 right there. <laughs> I can see it's on the bottom with the green bar. So I was expecting like a pretty awesome fight. And, you know, I mean, I wasn't totally disappointed with this fight, but uh, I guess they, obviously they were saving the fight for the raid. But this was actually still a pretty good end game campaign fight because there's still a lot more to this fight. As you will see in a little bit. And there's the little bit. So I don't know where I don't know where he teleports us into fog zone or something. So Oryx uses the fog to obviously mask where he is, even though we can kind of see him. And from here, he just keeps spawning thralls. The duplicating, the rupl replicating, the replicating ones. The replicating, yeah. <laughs> so... This is actually... I, I don't know. I, I, I thought this fight was actually pretty cool. It's like whenever he was make himself visible out of the fog, we're able to shoot him. Uh... Smelling his uh, his forearms, I guess, <laughs> covering his face from from incoming fire. But when you think about it, though, dude, how many times have we hit this guy in the head? Seriously, and he's like he's taking it like a champ. So strategy pretty much is uh, when he's outside of the fog, can't do damage on him. He flies up in the air. I think he does some kind of slam when he flies back down and just hide in the pillars whenever he's firing back and just keep an eye out on him and pretty much uh, just know where he is at all times I, I, you know I don't even really understand why I'm firing there like when he's out there I mean he's immune to all the damage but, I don't know, I guess it's just like a... You don't really fire on him. I was just keeping myself busy, I guess. And I think he slammed me right there. At least he was pretty close, but he was still in the fog. I just noticed the red circly blip on my radar, you know? So, he disappears. And he's almost dead. He's like right there as, as I get hit. I'm, I'm fine getting hit. As long as uh, everybody else stays alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know what I think about it too? Like right here. Like he doesn't... Wait, is this where we kill him? Yes! No, we don't. We have one more round of him. So... 
I don't think I guess say my thoughts on the Taken King. I think the Taken King is a pretty good expansion. Um, it's not just an expansion though. Obviously, it, it changes a lot of the core <clears throat> aspects of Destiny, and I think because of the the way they added quests and like they gave you. Uh, I mean, technically quests are bounties, right? Oh well, it's over. I can't talk anymore. I'll just say it's good. I like it. My queen, you were right. The guardian was the key. For the first time, the whispers are silent. It is done. accepted my fate. I will not fail. Alright guys, that's it for Destiny the Taken King of the Campaign. This was the final part, so thank you for joining me. There's going to be more Destiny videos I'm going to put up, probably Strikes and maybe the gear that I get during Nightfalls and maybe some other stuff. I don't know, maybe PvP? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, thank you for joining me on this journey from the beginning to the end of the Destiny of the Taken King campaign. So if you guys made it this far, thanks for watching and as always, take care and Tengu 230 out. Until the next game, game on everybody.